Morning, so we have progress. And now we have a cannula in, which is one step closer to this scan. I'm back to being on my own again. I wonder how long it will last this time. So I've got this plan. I'm going to try and stay upright until I have my scan so that I leak more and hopefully it will show something. Some of you may think I'm a bit silly for doing this, but I'm really desperate to find the leaks. I've just had my bile grab and it was pretty horrendous. It's uh, really, really painful. The pain was in my head. It was um, really, really uncomfortable. But I'm doing okay now. Hopefully the results will show something. So I've been down for the scan and I'm going to tell you how it went. So a CT myelogram is where they inject dye into your spine and tip you upside down and try and image you through a CT scanner and find if you were leaking from anywhere. So I was feeling really hopeful about this, thinking yes, this is going to be the scan that's going to work. So. In the morning, I decided to have a shower. I actually propped up my bed a bit because I had in my head that if I try and make myself leak more, then it's more likely to show up on the scans. I've since found out, and thank you for my co your comments um, in the group that I'm with, but they were people obviously in America commented and said, asked for some saline to be pushed in first because that means it will increase the pressure, meaning that it's more likely to push through any holes that you may have. I've gone about it completely the wrong way. I've sat up, I've leaked. Also, when I had the procedure done, I was had a lumbar puncture at the same time, so taking more fluid out again. When I went to have the procedure, I did ask, could I film it to show you guys, but they wouldn't let me, so I'm sorry about that. So I went down, met the consultant radiologist, he shook my hand and the first thing he said to me is you're highly unlikely to find anything on this scan and to be honest I was feeling really really hopeful and that expression where someone pulls the rug out from beneath your feet that's basically what I felt like because all my hopes were basically just taken away in that sentence and I lay down on the bed and I actually did start crying because I thought, oh god, what is the point? I went ahead obviously with the scan and what they did is um, located a space using x-rays and so these x-ray scanners are moving around you like some sort of science fiction movie. Once they located this space, he put a needle in my back and then my other doctor, the registrar I mentioned before, who was going to come down and do the lumbar puncture, she then did the lumbar puncture. That actually took quite a while. Also, what happened is I could still feel them doing stuff in my back, so I had to have quite a lot of local anaesthetic put in halfway through. Then it moved on to the dye. So they injected the dye. And he was doing all his imaging and this things moving all around me. And then he's like, right, we need to tip you upside down now. I was like, yeah, okay, you know, whatever. And they tipped me upside down and I was upside down and all of a sudden I felt this immense pain behind my ears and it just wrapped around my whole head and I was just like, oh, and I was crying in agony. It was so painful. And he made me like kneel up and I had to turn all the way around from one side whilst keeping my head down and turn all the way around to the other side, trying to basically get this dye to coat my whole brain and, oh God, it was so painful. And then I had to like get off the bed and get onto the other one. Oh, just every single movement of my head was just like boom, boom, like so painful. And in the CT scan, I just laid there crying. Still, I've been feeling amazing. I mean, I had to lay on my back then for two hours to prevent any further leaks. And when I went up to go to the toilet, I nearly collapsed from dizziness, so I had to use the commode to go to the toilet the first time, but 
I've managed to progress to go into the toilet by myself now, but I did have nurses having to come and walk me to the toilet and things. I was feeling really positive this morning, um, but to be honest, I'm not really feeling that positive anymore. I've actually been feeling quite emotional because I'm starting to come to the reality and we're starting to sink in that I might be living with this condition for longer, maybe a lot longer. I've just spoken to Dr. Kitley, my consultant. So here's the plan. She's advised me that my pressure is 16, which is normal, because it should be around 15. She's also tried looking for the consultant who did my scan this morning and can't find him, so can't find the results. She's told me that if there's nothing on this scan, which I think she's presuming, that they've exhausted all tests at this hospital, there's nothing more they can do. So ultimately I will need to be referred to Queen's Park Hospital in London where there's a headache specialist centre. Now she spoke to them this morning and they've already advised her that they can't take me as an inpatient, I'd have to come as an outpatient. She said from previous patients she's referred, they've had to wait up to eight weeks. The other problem is what to do with me now and I don't want to go home without being treated because staying in bed for eight weeks for an appointment is ridiculous. She's now got to fight with the anaesthetists again because what's happening is the anaesthetics team has seen it from an anaesthetics point of view and saying we don't want to give you a blood patch now because we will need to know where you're leaking from first. Obviously my doctor's neurologist and she's saying that should be able to give a blood patch because there's no upper limit of how many you can have and the Queen's Back Hospital have confirmed this. So I've just got to now wait and nothing's going to happen before the weekend. But it looks like it's the start of my journey with, with this rather than the end. Well thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I can't thank you enough for all your comments and support. It's helped me so much with this so thank you.